Hello everybody, this is Beaner4657. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I don't know, the mic just said it had a lot of input going on, so my voice might be louder than usual. Anyway, it is now Monday... Oh, what is it? It's today, like... Man, it's May 2nd? Jeez, what happened to April? Okay, anyway. Yeah, I was pretty busy last weekend, so I didn't really have much time to do anything. But now, I finally have some time to start a new LP I've been wanting to do for a while now. So now I'm finally getting around to it. Oh, so exciting! So this is the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition for GameCube that I used to let's play, uh, to do to my let's play of Ocarina of Time. I'm also going to use it as my let's play of Legend of Zelda. This is the reason why I don't have this game on Virtual Console because I can just play it anytime on this. <laughs> so here is the original Legend of Zelda on on. NES, as you all know, probably everybody in the world has at least heard of this game. So let's read the story. The Legend of Zelda. Long ago, long ago, Ganon, Prince of Darkness, stole the Triforce of Power. Princess Zelda of Hyrule broke the Triforce of Wisdom into eight pieces and hid them from Ganon before she was kidnapped by Ganon's minions. Link, you must find the pieces and save Zelda. And here is just showing you all the items that you will see in the game and telling you what and telling you what they are. Life potion, second potion. I'll explain all of this later, like as the game goes on, because they don't actually explain anything in this. You have to have the manual, but that's okay. Uh, it might be kind of weird because usually when I see people do a let's play of this game, they usually have a special twist on it. Usually they do it swordless, or they do a three heart run of it, or do it without the magical sword, or do it with just the wooden sword or do it without using the magical rod or something, I don't know, they usually put some spin on their let's play, or do it without the magical key, whatever. So let's get this started. Please look at the manual for details, yeah, see? Yeah, but I don't have the manual, you stupid. Stop being an idiot. Okay, anyway. So here is your final select. Um, yeah, okay. So... As you can see, the third file is on the second quest. Right now, I'm just going to have to get rid of some of these files here. I'll just get rid of these two. I haven't had very much time to get started on the second quest yet. Register your name. Yeah, we... Um, okay. Sorry, the controls for the GameCube version are a little odd, and it takes a while to get used to. So let's get started. Again. So the first thing you need to do is go into this cave here, and get the wooden sword from the old man. It's dangerous to go alone! Take this! Okay. Yeah, that famous line. Alright. So I like to start out by going this way, and then just going up. You might want to stop and kill some enemies, just to get some rupees, in case you need to buy something. And I mean, they're not hard. Red Octor Rocks only take one hit. In case you couldn't count. So, uh, the first thing I like to do in this game is just go straight to level 1 and do that. Because you can, you can do level 1 right away. So let's get at this uh, show on the road. I don't know how long these videos are going to be. I might do one or two levels per video or something. I don't know. Depends. Depends how I feel, really. I cannot believe I took a hit from that um, Zora so fast. It's not what's supposed to happen. So here we have Blue Aqua. Just take two hits with the wooden sword, anyway. Oh! Okay. Sorry, the D-pad on the GameCube controller is pretty small, so it takes a little bit to get used to. So here is level one. Going to the dungeon, which is all blue, but Link is green, so it doesn't really matter. If only it was red. For some reason, in one of the dungeons, I think it's Dungeon 3, that has a green color scheme, uh, Link actually looks slightly different, just so you can differentiate him from the background. But there's really no point in mentioning that right now, since we're going to see it soon anyway. Or later. We're not going to see it for a while. For a little while. I don't know how far I want to... I don't know how far I want to go in the first video, but maybe... I'll probably go for like 15 minutes per video or something, not make them too long. Damn it. 
I mean, I kind of want my best area videos to be really long, which I need to get back to recording that. Like I said, I was busy last weekend, so I'm really, I'm really sorry I haven't been uploading much. So there's our first two keys, and we need to... Usually when you kill all the monsters in, in a room, and you'll usually get groupies or some other objects or one of the dungeon treasures. Which, uh, unlike the other Zelda games, the first one only has two dungeon treasures, the compass and, and the map. Well, I mean, there's the item that you get per um, area. By the way, that magic clock that I've been, I picked up freezes all the enemies, so if you have that, then you're going to like clear the whole area, no problem. So, start by going left, because the boss is to the right. God, so much to... I don't even know why I'm explaining half of the shit I'm talking about, really, because, it's not, because I mean... If you're watching this, I'm pretty sure almost everyone in the world has either played or heard of this game. So there's not much point to go in such detail. I thought you could get the map in this area, but I guess you don't. So occasionally you get hints from this guy. Eastmost Peninsula is in secret. I'm not really sure what he's talking about there. He might be talking about some secret caves on the overworld. Or sometimes he can refer to, like, the map in the dungeon itself. Like, sometimes he'll say, like, the head of the dragon is where the secret is. And the map kind of looks like a dragon, so if you go to the head of it, or something like that, I don't know. So there's the map, and we go up. I think I actually screwed something up. Damn it, I didn't need to take a hit from the stealth right there. I mean, of course I didn't. It's not like I'm going to try and take hits. Perfect. <laughs> a clock I can't use. So we're getting close to the first treasure. I mean, we already got the map. Okay, I guess. I don't know what you would call them. Are they dungeon objects or are they treasures? You stupid Uriah. Come back here. Thank you. I don't like Uriahs for some reason. In Zelda 1, they're not too bad, but in Zelda 2, they are so... They are so obnoxious. That was pathetic. Hang on a second. I need to get my head in the game. So it's kind of surreal seeing a whole area that's in gray. So there's our first item, the bow, which we don't, which we can't even use because we don't have any arrows. And unlike uh, Link to the Past, they f they fixed it in that game, but in this game, arrows are basically your rupees. Every time you fire an arrow, you lose a rupee. So all you need to do is buy an arrow, and you're then you then you don't need to buy anymore. Um. So when I said earlier that I, when I said that I thought I screwed up, well apparently I did. I need to go. Oh, I could use a heart or a fairy. A fairy would be nice right now. I don't think these guys usually drop anything though. Uh, where do you get the boomerang? Oh yeah, that's what I missed. The boomerang. Keys, huh? Keys are no problem. Keys are keys. Is it keys or keys? I don't, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. But then again, who the, who the hell really cares? <laughs> okay, so the boomerang is probably this way. Whoa. When I saw that self was coming out of the other one, I, <laughs> that just kind of freaked me out a little bit. I thought I was going to take a hit there and die. Come on, where are the hearts? What time are we up to? Nine minutes? Wow, I'm taking forever on this. I'm sorry, the rest of the video the rest of the, the videos aren't gonna be this clumsy. Look at Oh yeah. So that's where the compass was. Which shows you the location of the Triforce. Not the boss. It shows you the location of the Triforce. A lot of people think that it shows you the location of the Triforce, but it doesn't. Uh, just need to take a drink about Mountain Dew. Uh, which I need to go to the store soon. Like, uh, like I've been meaning to go to the store for like, a, like a couple days, and oh damn it! Okay, well I already died. That sucks. All I have to do is just go to continue. And then if you die in the dungeon, then you'll just start where you left off, pretty much. As long as you don't exit the dungeon, the boss. I mean, let's see, what is this? What is that rule? I can't really remember. There really is no penalty for dying. There is, but not when you have three hearts. 
Because every time you every time you start a game again or you die and then continue, you're gonna start with three hearts, no matter what your no matter what your maximum life is. But if you have like a lot of hearts and then you start a new game, so you're just left with three and you have to go into a dungeon, but you're like, oh man, there's blue dark nuts in here. I'm not gonna be able to do this. You sh you can go to like any fairy uh, fairy's um, lake and. The Great Fairy will refill your life, and that's pretty much all you have to do. That's pretty much every time every, every time you start a game, that's like the first thing I do, is just go to a Great Fairy's Lake, and I don't know what I did right there, but whatever. God, it's, I can't believe it's taking me a whole video just to do level 1. I'm serious, this, the rest of these videos aren't going to be like this. So, sometimes level 1 can be kind of a problem, because you don't have... Um like, a lot of hearts to do it, so... A lot of people, it, even though it's really easy, it can be pretty hard if you're not careful. These wall masters are real pain, but I hate these wall masters so much, even more than the other games. So that's, uh, go to the boss, and the first boss is this dragon guy. I don't know what, he, what he's called, though. I always forget. This guy is very easy if you have full life, because so you can just keep shooting sword beams at him. And every time you kill a boss, you get a heart container. And you get a piece of the Triforce of Wisdom. Woohoo! And there's level 1 for you. We died once, but hey, that's okay. Because you can die as much as you want in this game. So, now that we got the boomerang, uh, that'll make uh, dispatching enemies so much easier, since you can just stun them. But because it's not the magical boomerang, it's not going to go as far. Which, I think you get the magical boomerang in level 3, but I can't really remember. Okay, so, once you have about 60 rupees, you can go and buy arrows. And like I said, uh, all you need to do is buy arrows once and then you're set for life. So I might do that now, but we could probably go do something else. I don't know if we need arrows for level 2. Actually, no wait, level 2 has Pole's voice, and they're vulnerable to arrows, so I think I'm going to get those. I think the shop is over here. No, it's a little bit south of us, okay. Mm, I might as well pick up some ruby while I'm on our way. You're going to need a lot of rupees for this game if you want to get everything anyway, because there is an item that you need 250 rupees for, which the max you can hold is 255, so you're going to need to grind every once in a while, just to make sure you have enough. This guy doesn't sell arrows. Huh. I thought he did. I guess we could pick up the blue candle. That can help us get some heart pieces. I mean, not heart pieces, heart containers. There are no heart pieces in this game. Uh, tech types. They're not too much of a problem. They take one hit like the Red Octoroks, but they jump around a lot and they're kind of annoying. Um, I think the shop that sells arrows is this way. God. A lot of this... Uh, sorry, a lot of a lot of these videos are going to be just me wandering around trying to find stuff. Which, I think I remember where most of it is. I remember... I can't... I, I know I've, I know where all the, the heart containers are. For some reason, the blue tech types don't take any more hits than the red ones. I never really understood that. I thought they would take more, since blue enemies in Zelda are particularly stronger. Except maybe in Ocarina of Time. I think the red ones were stronger in that one. I can't remember. I don't know, I never really judged the, um, how many hits the monsters take in Ocarina of Time for some reason. Not taking a hit for that. So this is the eastmost peninsula of Hyrule, which there are going to be a lot of, what are these things called, levers around, around here. Yeah. How many CDI references can I make in a day? I can pretty much guarantee you that I can make about 20 CDI references in a day and not get bored of them. God, I'm getting my butt kicked. But I'm only missing one heart, so we're okay. Good. Ah! Should not have taken that hit. 
Oh, I'm taking hits that are not necessary. There are a couple of containers on this side, um, but you need certain items that you get in dungeons to get them. Like, um, I think one you need the raft to get to, and one you need the bridge. Or the ladder, whatever. There's the arrows. 80 rupees, though. That's a little more expensive than I thought. But whatever, I'll take them. Okay, so now I think we're ready to take on level 2. Since we got enough, since we got arrows to defeat the Pole's voice with. Gotta watch out for the Boblins. They'll shoot arrows at you, but you can block them with your shield. It's just that they do a little bit more damage than um, the rocks that the Octorok shoot. Well, eight bombs, that's good. And level 2 is this way into the forest. I know, I'm taking a really roundabout way to get to level 2, but whatever. Hey, hey. I hate it when they shoot right when I swing my sword, so then I lose my shield. Well, I mean, I don't lose my shield, but I can't block my shield when I swing my sword, obviously. So here's level two. Oh man, that blue color is really making me blind right there. I should probably end this video right here, though, since, um, we're coming up to, since I'm at, like, 17 minutes. You know, you know what? I think, yeah, we'll just finish the, we'll just, uh, take on level 2 in the next video. I'm sorry that this has been, um, poor performance, but... So, anyway, in the next video we're gonna go level 2. Okay, stop talking and just end the video. You're boring, everybody.